I'm Tuffy Stone, and this is my celery seed white barbecue sauce. Feet flat back against the wall, I can feel it coming like a wrecking ball. This sauce right here, my celery seed white barbecue sauce, was the first uh, mayonnaise-based barbecue sauce that I created myself. White barbecue sauces are, are very well known in Alabama. It's also referred to as an Alabama white sauce. Um, my friend Chris Lilly and their restaurant, Big Bob Gibson's, is legendary, known for dunking their chickens that are cooked on the pit uh, in the white sauce. But this celery seed white barbecue sauce was my first, and I know why Alabama folks like that sauce so much. You could put this on a rock and it would taste good. I use it for a lot of different preparations. I'll use it on wings, I'll use it on pork loin, I'll use it on whole chickens, I'll use it on broccoli charred over the fire. So just a really, really delicious sauce, which by the way, you can find this recipe not only on my YouTube channel, but you can go to tuffystone.com, go to recipes that's there, it's also in my cookbook. So the first ingredient is one and a half cups of mayonnaise. Where I come from, which is Richmond, Virginia, when we grab mayonnaise, it's Duke's. Next ingredient, one half a cup plus one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I want to use the word scolded, but I was once told that my recipes are too complicated and I think they're right. But anyways, that extra tablespoon makes a difference in my opinion. Next add three tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Three fourths of a teaspoon of granulated garlic. One and a half teaspoons of whole celery seed. Three fourths of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Here I go again. Are you ready? Two and a quarter teaspoons of kosher salt. One tablespoon of simple syrup. Although I can say you can substitute two teaspoons of granulated sugar if you don't feel like making simple syrup. So I've got all my ingredients in a bowl. There's no cooking, there's no simmering. This is just mixing it up. Uh, these flavors actually develop better if they're refrigerated for you know overnight to a day. Um, let that celery seed kind of bloom. But all we're gonna do is mix it up, put it in a uh, container and refrigerate it until we're ready to use. Second time you're a friend of mine. Third time, fourth time, fifth time, won't you spend